hey guys welcome to webdev tutorials so in this video we're going to learn how to create partner section so it's like a slider with uh, different types of logos so it's sliding automatically but you can change options okay so uh, we will need the slick slick js so we just search on uh, google slick js cdn and just copy anything from cdnsjs.com just copy the link from there so let's go to our files so we will need index.html we will need styles.css and script.js so first of all we'll need as well bootstrap if you if you're gonna use uh, bootstrap so minified bootstrap we need to link our style sheet then we need jquery and then the slick carousel so the slick js here okay so first of all let's create a container and then inside that container i'm going to put the h2 tag so partner section Then we're going to create a section. I'm going to give a class of partners, logos, and slider. Then inside here, I'm going to include the images. So we create div with a class of slide. And then just inside here, we're going to include the images. Okay, let's just copy a few of them. So I have in total eight images. So you can put as many as you like. And the last one, eight. Okay, so we have eight. Okay, now let's go back. Now let's go and style it. So I have my basic setup page, so margin 0, padding 0, I'm going to add a bit of background color. It's a bit like light grayish, and let's just give some styling to the H2 title. Text align center to give it a padding of 80 pixels, 0 and 40 pixels. So 80 top left and uh, right 0 and bottom 40. We found family sans serif. Font size 42 pixels. And let's make it so font weight 700 okay now we have to uh, target the slick slide class so this class is from actual script as you can see there is no slick slide inside here but actually it's inside of this script so slick slide we're going to put the margin 0 pixels by 20 pixels then slick slide img we're going to give width of 100% next is the slick list Going to put position to relative displayed block overflow okay, 
flow will be hidden, margin will be zero, and the padding will be zero. Okay, next is the slick list. And then we add focus. So outline will be none. Next is the slick list dot dragging. So when you click, you can drag those icons and just move them. Dragging. Cursor will be pointer and then cursor hand. Okay. Next is, is the slick, slick slider, then slick trap. Slick slider, slick list. And we're going to use the WebKit transform. So WebKit transform. Translate 3D GIF 0, 0, and 0. Copy them. We're going to change this to MOZ. This will be MS. This will be O. And this just transform. Okay. Next is the slick track. We're going to give position of relative, then top zero, left will be zero as well, and display block. Okay. Then slick track before, and then slick. track after going to display it as a table and then content will be empty next is slick track after we're going to clear both Next is slick loading and slick truck. Visibility will be hidden. Next is slick slide. We're going to display it to none. We're going to float it left. Height will be 100% and uh, min height will be 1 pixel. Okay, and then we're going to add some direction RTL, slick slide. Float will be right. And slick slide IMG display block. And slick slide and slick loading. IMG 
display none. Let's click slide. Dot dragging img will be pointer events none. Next is the slicks initialized. Then slick slide display block. Then slick loading. Then slick slide. Visibility will be hidden. Two last ones, a slick vertical and slick slide, display block, height will be auto, the border will be one pixel solid transparent. And the very last one will be slick arrow slick hidden display none okay so we finished with our style style sheet okay so this is our actual one so now we need to write some javascript so first we need to target the document ready function and inside here we're going to target the class which we give before the partners logos so the partner's logos, then is the slick, the actual slick, and then inside here we can put the options, so let's do slides to show, give six, number of six, how many slides we want to see, slides to scroll give it just one auto play make it true so it's gonna play it automatically auto play speed 1500 arrows will be false so you can find these options in the slick website you just google slick js slick.js and then you'll find the website and under the settings you can see all the options you can use so dots will be false we are going to use this next is the pose on hover will be false as well responsive so we're going to add the break point 768 pixels and settings slides to show four so when it reaches 768 pixels it's going to show four images okay so what's the next no 
next will be the the breakpoint. Uh, let's make it 520. So when it reaches 520, we change settings to be three so slides to show three. Let's close this. Okay, let's save. Refresh. Have some okay. type issue. Okay, so I've spotted one, second one, and let's see this as well. Responsive. Let's see if we have anything else. No, that should be it. Just refresh. Here we go. So you can drag them left, right, and it plays automatically. You can change those settings as well. If you want to add dots, you just have to type true but then you have to style them because if you you're going to use true see you'll have to style them but we choose not to use so we don't need them and let's try the responsibility see four three that works well 